Well, good afternoon, pharmacy aficionados. Welcome back again this month to www.salesystem.com.au. I'm Glenn Guilfoyle, and I head up the pharmacy specialist group called The Next Level. And we come to you each month like this in video and written form with a topic of interest and learning so that you can further develop your forward pharmacy service model. And this month I'd like to dwell on an opportunity I had to write on a particular aspect of women's health recently for Australian Journal of Pharmacy. So I'm going to make an encapsulation of that write up. And it's around how to increase your profile as a beacon pharmacy for women's health. Here we go. So you're looking to increase your pharmacy's women's health profile and become a solution destination for health states like pain, heart health and pregnancy. Experience shows us that there are two broad domains you need to master to achieve this objective. One is the engineering piece and features elements like the physicals or physical aspect of your dispensary, people, process and product, the four Ps. And the other is the conversation piece and features elements, attitude and aptitude, the two A's. So firstly, and in this instalment, let's dissect the engineering piece since it almost does not matter how good you are at the attitude and aptitude piece. If your engineering does not reach a satisfactory performance threshold, you will suboptimize your potential conversational advantage. Now, the critical success factor here is to create the environment um, conducive to pharmacist-led proactive consultations with women presenting with these types of conditions. The old adage, you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink, in this context sounds like you can't make the horse drink without leading it to the water. So how well are your service counters set up for conducting proactive and complete solution conversations with women, as opposed to counter locations to perform perfunctory meds dispatches? Do you have separate and dedicated script out and OTC counter locations to facilitate order, workflow and customer solution conversations? Are you and your customer able to sit down for a chat at the service counter or step aside to a consult room? Do you have adequate staffing levels and pharmacist representation in your mix to station solution oriented pharmacists at script out and OTC locations to have these conversations with women? Do you benchmark your staffing levels and mix to know how you compete? Does your workflow mirror your customer traffic flow to enable order, efficiency and serenity? Do you serve anyone at any counter they come to or have you trained your customers to come to dedicated service counter locations to best meet their needs for that visit? Have you placed most likely complementary add-ons within a step or arm's reach of script out and OTC locations to support your focus on women's health and conditions like pain, heart health and pregnancy. You need to have clear answers to these questions and a clear vision to achieve this objective. In the next instalment, we move beyond this engineering piece and into the conversation piece. So do come back again next month, but as always, happy to take the conversation offline and one-on-one -on -one at any time. I hope you derive some value from this piece and look forward to chatting again next month. Bye for now.